Good morning, church family. It is Thursday, so you know what that means. It's time for your weekly update. Well, this week is going to be back to regular schedule with all of our worship services and Sunday night. We're continuing on in our study in Galatians, so I hope you can make that. What a great book to help us remind, be reminded of the centrality of the gospel, even in the midst of people who are being moral, who are churchgoers, who are faithful. We need to do that. Also, we're going to be looking this week at the call of Abraham. We're going to try to pick up the pace a little bit in the book of Genesis. Uh, as we move here, we're going to try to cover a whole chapter, if possible, but you know me, if we need to, we'll stop and do it in two. But uh, one thing that's amazing and fascinating is we left Abraham off. He's a moon worshiper. And here we're going to see God work and move in a real way. One interesting fact is, did you know that best we can tell, Job and Abraham were alive at the same time, probably both descendants of Shem, and yet God in his divine plan calls Abraham. Why did God call Abraham? I don't know. You tell me. I guess we'll get to ask him one day. I guess it ultimately boils down to John the Baptist's uh, quote where he said, he must increase and we must decrease, right? Abraham was not the best choice as a moon worshiper, uh, but here we are. He's called and he is referenced some 50 times in the New Testament. Or excuse me, 50 times outside the Old Testament, outside of Genesis. And, uh, you know, just as a key pivotal figure for so many. And uh, so, yeah, God is able to do that. It doesn't matter your background. doesn't matter where you come from. Man, God can use you in a great way. Look forward to being with you all Sunday. Have a great day.